My mother traveled all around the world. Every single time she came back, she said, Luther Burbank was right. This is God's chosen place. Gay Gadotti is fourth generation Guerneville, and her mother, Jan Gadotti, poured her love of this place into a lasting project. Yeah, Guerneville Treasures is titled. Because she worked at the library, she was seeing this vast um, collection of photographs, and nobody had really organized them or cataloged them, and so she kind of took that on as a labor of love. In her open, Gadotti paints a picture of the original forest. The redwoods were so dense in Big Bottom that the sun did not penetrate, nor could a person walk through the dense growth. And that tells us why the Pomos call the present site of Guerneville Sheole, the shadow or shadow, shady place. And through her narration, Gadotti brings the photos and history to life. The second Guern sawmill was constructed in 1868 and generally called the Big Mill. It was about the area where the 1996 Safeway is. Standing in front of a 100-inch tree, tree with 13 people sitting in the cut of the trees from one measured acre on Big Bottom produced 1,431,530 boards. It soared 275 feet skyward, measured 18 feet in diameter. The lumber was set aside to build the first Baptist church in Santa Rosa and became known as the church built from one tree. Guerneville resident and historian John Schubert points to the area outside his back window. Up this valley is where Livro Mill was on the opposite side. Just one of the many mills from that time. You had Armstrong's Mill, uh, Murphy's Mill, Pocket Mill. You had the French Mill. There was the Clar Mill. The same, Upstream, same. you had the Corbell Mill. Downstream, you had Tyrone Mill. And then it was logged out during the 70s, 1870s, and the 1880s and 90s. Consequently, right around Bagley's Mill and what we call Guerneville now were stumps. And the people who worked at the mill and the loggers and the Teamsters built shacks and homes around the stumps. And so it was called Stump Town. Which then became Guerneville, named for mill owner George Gern. Second growth redwoods came back and a vacation spot sprung up around the river. The magnificence of the natural environment is really what defines this area at this point. Michelle Luna is director of Stewards of the Coast and Redwoods. Our Harbor Seal program was our very first program back in 1985. Then Whale Watch started soon after that. So those two public education programs were the beginning of Stewards. And then we branched out from them. Current projects include co-managing Armstrong Redwoods and Austin Creek, restoring Pond Farm Pottery, and the newly opened Nature Store in downtown Guerneville all dependent on a lot of volunteer help. I mean, we consider ourselves as serving the volunteers as well, providing a place for them, especially um, on public lands. I mean, they consider these are their public lands. All of us, we own these public lands, and they want to get back, and they want to do something meaningful. What does stewardship mean to you, and why do you use that word? This is just part of our lifestyle, that we... Um, are responsible for taking care of the land. We're responsible for making good decisions about the land. So I think it's really instilling um, that responsibility that it's just second nature. It's just what we do.